we have finished our very first first gentle and classical study that we have ever done in our homeschool. And today I want to talk to you about what we liked about it, what we didn't, and will we be using more. We utilized the Greece Country Unit Study. This has the On Mission magazine and then also the student notebook. When I was at the Teach Them Diligently conference, I asked them at their booth, do you have anything for middle school? And they recommended these country unit studies for middle school, which is why I purchased the Greece one. And then I also purchased the one for Ukraine. The On Mission Greece magazine is really serving more like your textbook. So if you look through it, you can see that there's the welcome letter and then here's your suggested uses. So these suggested uses are really very important. So I'd recommend you not miss out on all of this great information because there are plenty of different ways that you can use this book. Now we are using the Exploring Countries and Cultures. So we already have in our library the Atlas of the World, our Global Art, Geography from A to Z, and then Windows on the World. These are not books that are absolutely needed for this unit study, but they are helpful. So as you go through, you can see that there are additional living library books. So these are um, books that are recommended to use with this. Now, again, they are not absolutely necessary. They do have recommended age ranges for each of the books, which is very nice. Now, one thing to notice is these age ranges are younger. So as you can see, the grade three plus is truly the highest age range that they have for these books. So there are not books for older grades included, but you obviously for Greece, you can find additional books um, for those age ranges. Our table of contents, and then we truly get into the meat of this magazine. And you can see there are quite a few words on the page. So for younger students, I would recommend using this more like a read aloud or something for family because it does include quite a bit of words. Now we did this together. So we just talked a lot about it together. Now here's Paul and we're talking about the first missionary to Greece. You have Greek history, which this is something that you can expand upon very easily. They have this listed for grades one and up. Again, my daughter is in middle school. So we did add some to this. Here is a challenge. So for the challenge that says with your parents permission, read more about the part of Greek history, and then write a postcard to family member or friend telling them all about it. So there are different ideas for additional information. One of the things I did really enjoy is they provided a YouTube playlist, and we'll talk more about those YouTube playlists when we get to this, but just for the magazine, it was also included. Here's more about the geography. Um, you have some of your geographical terms with an isthmus and a peninsula, and so you do get um, quite a bit of geography in the study. We did love these goats. And so this is your animals with regards to Greece. You have art and music. You also have information about the food. And here is a day in the life. Again, there's just so much information that is included in this magazine. So it's, um, it's definitely well worth it for just the sheer amount of information that you will be able to glean from the magazine. So let's go ahead and take a look at the student notebook. So the student notebook is very informative as to how to schedule your days. So you can use this either for 12 weeks or 12 days. There are notebooking pages as well as maps. So for example, for unit two, which would either be week two or day two, you can see there is this QR code. There is a code listed for almost every week. And there are some wonderful videos that are included in these QR codes. And then it gives you step-by-step -step ideas of what to do for this unit. So you can see there are different pages to read within the magazine. Also here's for windows on the world. You can read there. So it's bringing in those other resources that I had talked about at the beginning. And then here is your preparation supplies, which is great. 
you have your map and then you'll have additional activity pages. Now each week does follow your basically your the same flow. So you can see that there is information for you to read. You have your QR code, which will take you to YouTube to some, for some great videos. And then you can see the videos that are included and additional information. So it says consider purchasing a few small bottles of various oils. You can have a taste testing party because this is one where we're talking about olive oil. Again, you have different things to read and this is laid out very, very well so that you can just basically go point by point in how to walk through this. For each day, you can also have this box. Now my daughter is not a huge drawer and so by the time we were to day eight, she was basically done drawing. But this box is included for each unit where you have a topic where you can either narrate or you can draw and this was something that she was just done with by the time we got to this part of it. And here's, let's consider a day in the life of an archaeologist using the five common topics and so list a few steps. So here again we have information from what we had been reading in the magazine and then we are on to week nine again. As you can see these are set out very well in being able to easily follow the instruction and know what to do. There are quite a few coloring pages and um, activity pages that are focused on drawing or coloring or something surrounding art. Now let's talk about some pros and cons. First of all, the amount of information that is in this magazine is overwhelming. There is so much information that is provided. I love this magazine. We should have taken longer to do this study if we were going to get the full amount of what is provided in it. We really tried to do it in two and a half weeks because it said that you could do it once a week for 12 weeks or once a day for 12 days. And I wanted to not spend 12 weeks on one country since we are looking at so many different countries but we really did miss out on some of the information that is included. We just didn't have the time to dig into it. So if you are doing these studies, I would recommend taking the longer than the 12 days. Don't try to rush it. You definitely lose things because of rushing to get through um, these in 12 days. We didn't even do 12 days. We actually expanded it to about a little over 15 days. I think we took about three and a half weeks for it, but we still didn't get to everything that is included. So as far as the information, amazing. Love the information that is in this. It was awesome. Now let's talk about the student notebook. The student notebook was young for my daughter. She doesn't like drawing. And so with each one of these activities that included a drawing, she was okay with it at first, but then she was done. So we did not do all of the drawing that was included in here. I loved the way this was set up for you to be able to see what you were doing each day. The QR code that they have just took us to some great materials online and it was wonderful to be able to watch some of these videos and I really appreciate all of the information that they have packed into this. Um, as far as the notebook goes, I think that the notebook was a little bit young for my middle schooler, but as far as the content goes, the content was spot on. It is amazing how they have been able to take this information and incorporate it for the younger up through middle school. I do have one more that I've purchased. I've already purchased the Ukraine and we are going to do this one. I'm excited about it. But what I'm going to be doing is having a more of my own activities rather than just following what is included in the student notebook. We'll be doing a little less drawing and a little more other activities that are more appropriate for my middle schooler. But overall, I really enjoyed this Greece unit study. I can see why they recommended it up through middle school because of just the vast amount of information, the great information that is included in the unit study.